Hi, just a quick second channel blab video. I thought I'd uh, show you some of my original parts drawers. In fact, the original parts drawer, the first one I ever got when I was a kid. And I'm, I think I'm going to finally toss it out. We're talking probably 30 five years old or something like they're well over 30 years old let's have a look i still got them and uh this is my very first ever parts drawer i can't remember how or exactly when i got it but uh i was extremely young way under 10 let me tell you on there some of my hand-drawn uh stickers still on there amazingly they uh still work i probably like redrew them later at a later point i don't think i like wrote those when i was that doesn't look my hand like my handwriting from when i was like seven or eight or something like that anyway um let's have a like there's nothing left in there i lined them with uh aluminium <laughs> foil good old owl foil and uh let's just have a look at some of the parts shall we we've got some uh I uh, salvaged a uh, tip 32. Is that a tip 32 transistor? I think it is. Yep. Tip 32 B's and uh, just some miscellaneous transistors. Unbelievable. Like, oh, yeah, we've got some trennies up in there. We've got some LEDs. I, they're probably a, oh, there's probably a few originals. Look, you know, I mean, desoldered, right? You know, I've desoldered that. That's, you know, probably one of my original. Um, scores some more, probably some more recent ones, but as you can see, lots of uh, desoldered parts in there because that's what you did back in. I have no idea why I have a drawer of foam. Uh, regulators, got some old regulators in there once again, like you know, desoldered. Oh, we, you know, have a look at the date code on that. Can you see it? I can't see it, but geez, it's probably going to be uh, fairly. Old, I'd say. I can't see that on the LCD. Anyway, ah, um, oh, look, miscellaneous caps. Once again, just all desoldered. Huge, big green caps desoldered. A couple of uh, super caps, by the looks of it. Not sure where I got those from, but you know, these would be absolutely ancient. But yeah, I um would have desoldered these from old. You know, when I was a kid, like there was none of this online store rubbish that you got uh, these days anyway that was so you salvaged parts that's what you did anyway that was my very first ever parts drawer i think this was my second one it's a little bit crusty as you can see but let's uh let's have a look in here i don't know i've got a buzzer and a couple of batteries not sure hello hello we have ta -da! that folks is an original FM bug. An original FM bug. Would have built that when I was a kid. So the microphone's gone off it. And, uh, but that would have been, yeah, oh geez, isn't that crusty? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. There you go. Anyway, homemade FM bug with God knows what else in that drawer. Um, I don't know why I have a old soldering iron sponge uh yeah it's bloody connectors geez did i desolder those no no i don't <laughs> oh some more caps wow look at those made in australia look at that you bloody ripper dukon that was from the dukon uh, australia plant wow 2000 mfd none of this uh um you know mu rubbish it's good old m a capital m for micro um, we've got some standoffs in here what else we got ah oh, various diodes and a couple of bridges in there are there i don't know what the hell is that we've got some feet we've got a ta audio tape head there's a solar cell what the hell there's a couple of solar cells there's some motors um i was obviously taking apart some sort of old tape recorder got old uh, really old switches Limit switches, micro switches, wow, slide switches. Once again, all salvaged. Um, hey, there you go. You've got to have some AM ferrite rods. Yes, what a ripper. And uh, yep, so 
don't know what that is. That's a, oh, I know, I know what that came from. That came from one of those old-fashioned uh, photo guns. You know those uh, games you used to play with the photo sensor with the gun that you'd hook up to your TV? And I think that came out of that. That was, I've obviously ripped the sensor out of it, but that was the original thing. What the hell is in there? I got no idea. Some sort of, yep, tape. Oh, it's a counter. That's a counter. Wow, look at that, tape counter. There you go. Ah, it resets, probably you never know when you need a tape counter. Yeah, what a Bobby Dazzler. All right. But sadly, it's all going in the bin with <laughs> calculator keys. Why do I have calculator keys? Don't ask. Um, old 9-volt battery snaps. You used to uh, get those out of the batteries. When your battery failed, you'd take apart your battery and you'd get the tops out of them because you can use them as battery snaps. You never had to buy them. So, and, uh, geez, what the hell is... Uh, I have no idea what that is. Anyway few crusty old chips in there, but that's about it. It's about all she wrote. This one's slightly more uh, modern. I probably would have got this in my very early teens. So I think I think that's probably where some of these uh, uh, where these labels originate from. That'd be very early teens. I've already taken out uh, some from here. I did have some NPM transistors. I'm putting them into, by the way, they're all going into my new uh, cabinets uh, that I've got. And uh, these are all much better. So I'm just sorting them and they will go into my uh, component carousel there. So that's the plan. But uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything left in here. I think I cleaned it. Pretty sure I cleaned it all out. Some hex screws and just a bunch of miscellaneous resistors. I've actually got more component drawers down here. Uh, which I still have to sort through. Um, this was a very early one. Here we go, this was uh, my original resistor drawer and I sorted them into um, E12 uh, values. So 10, 12, 15, 18, 22, 39, 30, oh, they're out of order. Um, <laughs> and right up to 82, so E12 values. So, you know, 22, for example, would have, uh, you know, 2.2K, uh, 220 ohms, you know, 22k, 220k, all the values in 22, and I thought that was a really good way to do it. Um, and I really had um, no problems using that. I still do that um, today, actually. So, you know, I think that's a good sorting method. You might do, you know, E24 or something today, but I think that still works uh, quite well. These are a bit more recent. I've still got lots of uh, hardware and uh, stuff in these ones, and... Uh, those haven't sorted through, but anyway, <laughs> power trannies, there you go, look at that, some old power trannies, wow, jeez, they are ancient, I salvaged those, oh, BDX 65As, holy dooly, 1978, there you go, the 51st, yet yeah, 49th week, 1978, so I would have salvaged those in the late 70s, wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh man, a couple of crusty pots, um, fuses are all gone. I think everything, you know, the drawers have changed so much over the years and been chopped and changed. Geez, you've got some bullet connectors and some uh, trannies. Are they regulators or something? I don't know. Anyway, a whole bunch of stuff has changed over the years. So that's about all she wrote. Another one behind there. That's more recent by the looks of it, but... Anyway, just some memories. That is my original component drawer. And I think I have to get rid of it. Or should I should I hand it down to Sagan? Should that be Sagan's first component drawer? This one's like going. It's just it's just crusty as. Look at it. This one's still actually in reasonable condition. I can't believe it. That has gotta be 35 years old. It's gotta be. Um, so yeah. Should I hand it down? I don't know. Maybe I maybe I might keep this one as a sentimental, but I think this one's gone. That was my second one, and uh, these ones are just uh, they're just real crusty quality. Anyway, there you go. That was just a little trip down memory lane. Hope you liked it. Catch you next time.